just how fast is fast wireless charging for an iPhone? Hey everyone, Sean X Tech here, and welcome to the part 2 video of my iPhone charging speed series. Last week we compared the best wired charging solutions for the iPhone XS, pinning against each other a 5 watt charger, 10 watt charger, and 18 watt charger, which you can get to from the annotation up top or the link down in the description. But this week we're going to look at wireless charging solutions to see how fast we can actually charge an iPhone XS wirelessly, using different powered chargers. Wireless charging in smartphones is possible due to the addition of a coiled back panel that allows for inductive charging through an electromagnetic field. And they're much easier to use than wired chargers because you can just drop it on a pad and let it charge. Apple states that the iPhones use the Qi wireless charging standard, but they don't list the maximum wattage it can handle for fast charging when using a wireless charger. So once again, let's put it to the test. So just like part one, I started each charging session at 20% battery life and put the iPhone in airplane mode so that no incoming notifications would affect the charging time. For our wireless charging solutions, we have a five watt charger from Spigen, a seven and a half watt charger from Belkin, and a 10 watt charger from Mophie. The higher wattage wireless chargers typically come with their own charging adapter because wireless chargers require a higher wattage input than the actual charging output that goes into your device. For example, the 5 watt Spigen charger requires a 5 volt input at 2 amps, which gives us a requirement of 10 watts input to get 5 watts out. So let's see what results we got. For the 5 watt wireless charger, we see a slow charging onset reaching a maximum of 160 minutes in charging time to get to 100% battery life. For the 7.5 watt wireless charger, we see a somewhat steeper onset and an overall reduced charging time down to 135 minutes. And finally, for our maximum power 10 watt wireless charger, we see a very similar curve to the 7.5 watt coming in at an overall charging time of 137 minutes, about the same as the 7.5 watt charger. Therefore, as we can expect, when we overlay all three curves from this study, we can see that the 7.5 watt and 10 watt curves are nearly identical. And drawing some comparisons to the part one wired charging study, we can see that the 5 watt wireless and wired chargers are nearly identical as well, with a mere two minute difference in overall charging speed, which is within error of the measurement. This means there's practically no difference in charging time between the 5 watt wired charger you get in the box versus the 5 watt wireless charger that you could buy separately. More interestingly, if we compare the 7.5 watt wireless charger with the 10 watt wired charger, we see a slower charging onset for the wireless charger, but an overall charging time that's only 5 minutes different. And finally, if we combine all of the data from part 1 and part 2, we can see the full range of charging times between the wired and wireless solutions that you have the option of using for your iPhone XS. Looking over all the results from both studies, the 18 watt wired charger is still the clear winner for overall charging time and charging onset time, but the 10 watt charger or the currently available 12 watt charger and the 7.5 watt wireless charger are still clear contenders for being the best charging solution for your iPhone. Depending on whether you're looking for a quick charge to just get you some battery life to make it through the rest of the day or to fully charge your iPhone. So let's look at the full lineup of charging times for each of the wired solutions and wireless solutions. Concluding from this data that the iPhone is not currently compatible with 10 watt fast charging speeds with wireless chargers and is still limited to the 7.5 watt fast wireless charging standard. In terms of price, you're looking at about a $10 difference between each of these chargers that I used in this video. Starting with the Spigen F300W 5 watt wireless charger coming in at $39.99. The 7.5 watt Boost Up Belkin wireless charging pad coming in at $49.99. And finally the Mophie 10 watt wireless charge stream pad plus coming in at $59.95 
which we now know is not capable of delivering faster charging speed for your current model iPhone, due to the seemingly limited fast charging capabilities of wireless charging for the iPhone XS, as well as all previous wireless charging compatible iPhones. So with all that being said, I hope you found this two-part series helpful in deciding which charging solution you want to use for your iPhone XS, as well as other recent model iPhones, because we can expect that the relative charging time differences between the charging methods should be about the same. If you did, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below, and let me know in the comments what you're currently using as your go-to charging method for your smartphone. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos coming to this channel every week. Until next time, I'm Sean X Tech. Thanks for watching. If you want to see my last video, click the annotation in the lower left. If you want to see more in the future and keep up to date with the channel, click the annotation in the bottom right to subscribe. I'm Sean X Tech, and I hope to see you next time.